Hey guys, we are going to move on from the last video that I talked about with the upper body of the serve using the arm pronating with the wrist and the forearm. If you haven't seen that video yet, I really encourage you to check it out because that's essential before you can even think about um, your upper body and everything you're doing. I'm going to focus this part on the landing of the serve because a lot of us don't take advantage of the height that you naturally have by just jumping and reaching. And the point of this is doing it correctly will allow you to put some more pop into the serve. I mean, it also gives you some net clearance. So the jumping allows you to hit the ball a little higher and which allows you to give a little more, mar more margin of error. So jumping is important, but the way you land and you'll notice all the pros do it for a certain reason. And that's to use the biomechanics of uh, correctly of your body to put as much force into the ball without hurting yourself. So what I mean by that is jumping, I mean, when you're doing mainly a first serve, you're jumping into the court, you're going to want to um, put your body into the ball. So a lot of players, uh, recreational players, they're gonna jump and they'll jump and land like this, but the, the jumping, yes, you get a little net, net clearance, but it doesn't put any force into the ball. In fact, you lose it because you're not putting anything forward. You're just staying straight up and down. So a lot of players may think, okay, I'm just gonna jump forward like that as I serve. And that still won't do it because you're not putting your body into the serve. So you wanna lean into the ball. And to do that, if I just naturally, if someone was just gonna push me forward like this, I would naturally catch myself and land where I wouldn't fall on my face, right? So that's the whole idea. You're going to land on your non-dominant leg. And you'll notice when I do that, I'm gonna jump forward and my right leg's gonna stick out. And the reason why that happens is because I wanna lean forward as I do that. So if I'm jumping and trying to go forward at an angle, maybe at a 45 degree angle at the ball, I'm going to want to get a little bit of balance because if both legs are going to be here, I'm gonna fall on my face. <laughs> so I need to get my left leg here and then my right leg's gonna balance myself, but also look what I can do when I'm able to land on my left leg and my right leg goes up. Notice I put my body into the ball, and that's very, very important. So that's the idea. You don't even need to hit a ball right now. You can just practice this, this is new to you, and just try to focus on landing on the left leg and just getting a feel for that left leg as you're serving and feeling that a little bit. And then when you're really getting used to that, try to really go out and jump and land so that your left leg is really st stuck on the ground and your right leg's up. And then take some balls and try it out, okay? So the idea is you can watch servers, any, any high level 5-0 and higher probably players are going to have a really good serve where they are landing on the certain landing in front of the court. So when you do this with the ball, try to plant and see where you land. A lot of players will do this. And they'll land, and they'll land kind of right in the court, just right in here. You're not really using any of your leverage. You want to get as close to the net as possible. Think about a volleyball player. The really good volleyball players, they'll throw the ball up, they'll run up and hit it, and try to get as high and far into the court as possible before they hit the ball. Same thing with this. You really want to extend that serve out more and really reach and try to challenge yourself. So let's try that again. Where, let's see where my left foot goes. So I'm here, my left foot is right in there. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna keep challenging myself. Let's try it again. There we go. That was a pretty good serve there. I could feel that the force was in it and I landed really far into the court. So that one, you can, you can feel it when you do it right. So the idea is try to challenge yourself, but the other thing is you gotta finish look down and see where you landed. Because if you don't know where you landed, you can't really judge if you're doing it right. And also the balance. So maybe you need to work on balancing. Take some weights and just work on doing one-legged deadlifts. Uh, they're just, just kind of doing these kind of things. And do it on both legs to balance yourself. It's really good for tennis to have do one-leg ex exercises anyway. So that will really help you turn and land and be balanced and feel pretty secure with that. Okay, so give it a shot. Hopefully that helped.